G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, what's -do -do -do, this tiny little thing right here? Now, Stuart, what is that? Uh, it might be a little bit hard for you guys to see, so I'll have to show you a zoom in, zoomed in shot or something like that. But uh, this is the, and I hope I'm saying this right, this is the Kakut flight controller. So this is one of the new flight controllers from Full Metal Racing uh, and pretty much I think it looks awesome. Look how thin this thing is. So what we're going to do, it's got some really cool features. We're going to stick it on the bench and give it a bit of an overview uh, and then sometime later I'm going to put it into a build and we'll see just how well it goes. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so let's have a look at this little board from Full Metal Racing. Now, just having a look here, it has a couple of features uh, that I think set it apart from some of the boards out there. Now, the first one being something that I love, it has no little connecting ports all the way around here. It is just direct solder, so I absolutely love that because uh, I don't know how many times... Look, it hasn't happened to me too much, but I know a lot of cases I've seen online where the little sort of ports or anything like in maybe the SPF3 or some of those ports have actually snapped off. A lot of people like through holes, but personally for me I prefer just these pads I find they work a bit better for me now uh, this thing you can hook directly straight up to your lipo you can actually power this thing uh, with this little pad just here and I'll have to show you a zoomed in image of what this is like but uh, just here you can power this with a 2 to 6 s lipo so that is that is absolutely insane I'm probably going to be running uh, just 3 and 4 s maybe 5 s maybe I should build this thing as 5 s but uh, that is really cool that you can power that with a 2 to 6 s lipo on the front here you've got a couple of pads so for some for your SSI, a 3 volt out, a 5 volt out, a little ground pad here, and then also your S bus. And on this side, you've got some stuff for your satellite receiver. Um, down these sides, these are, these are all your ESC connections. So you've got your motors 1, 2, 3, and 4 for your ESCs. Actually, hang on, let me have a look. So you've got motors 2, 4, one and three uh, if you actually notice this arrow that means this side is the front so it's going to fit sideways in your in your quad so if you have a little build like this uh, it's actually going to go that way so you can see that it is directly facing the front just there so that makes it very easy to get the usb access access i don't know why i said it like that uh, and just checking this little button out just here that's actually the boot button so you don't need to, you no longer need to uh direct solder some of those things if you're flashing the firmware all you have to do is hold that button down why you connect uh, to your computer if you want to flash some uh, new cl new firmware on there. So I think that's fantastic. Now it is rocking the 6050 gyro, so it should be a bit better than uh, the Naze or uh, some of those other flight controllers. And on just here, uh, we've got our little buzzer pins at the back as well. So all in all, I think this is a fantastic little flight controller. On the bottom side, uh, we've got a couple of other little pads just here. We've got a five volt out and a ground. And I really like how thin this is. I mean, look at that thing. Even with the USB, have you ever seen a thinner flight controller? So uh, this is going to be awesome in some of those super clean and super slick builds. Now, uh, I guess the big test, it's uh, all in all to talk about flight controllers, but you really need to, I think, put them in the air and see how they go. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm building a new quadcopter at the moment, so I'm going to put this in, and this is probably going to be my filming racing quad, so one that carries a GoPro. So uh, I'm going to stick it in, flash beta flight to it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned, and well, I guess we'll have a little bit of an update on uh, just how this flight controller performs. Anyway, uh, subscribe for more FPV-related content, and as always, happy flying! Alrighty, so uh, here it is. This is its very first sort of maiden. So I took it up. I was just doing a little bit of a uh, hovering line of sight because that's uh, what I think. I always feel a bit more comfortable doing that before I take it out. And then I think I give it a little land. And then uh, I decided to put in a 3S battery too. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel more comfortable maidening something on a 3S because uh, if something is going to go wrong or something is going to short, uh, I want as little voltage as possible sort of coursing through my craft. So that's why this is only on 3S. So uh, don't be judging this by the speed or the style of flying or anything like that. This is pretty much my very first maiden. So this was all about, I guess, just getting a bit of a feel for the quad and just, just seeing how it goes when it's flying around. How is it in the turns? Uh, i got to admit, I, on the stock pids or whatever that sort of come with it, uh, it felt like it was a little bit sloppy in terms of expo and things like that. So I definitely did need to increase those rates a little bit more than I thought I was going to. But that's probably more something related to beta flight directly rather than uh, relating to this flight controller. But overall, I'm more than happy to have this F3 uh, board, this Kakut flight controller, in my new sort of filming rig. Uh, it feels really, really good, and I'm really enjoying flying it. Unfortunately, though, uh, this build actually went out of commission this very same day, about maybe one battery later or something like that. Uh, I had a little bit of an unlucky incident with a prop and an ESC, so I've been waiting all week for some new ESCs to come in. So finally, that's come in. 
So uh, I've got to replace this quick smart so I can get this back up in the air because I really am having fun playing this. Anyway, just a real short little video. Uh, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying!